Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and I welcome you to my channel Coding Skills. As part of this video, we will learn how to work with a batch processing. What exactly batch processing means? So we can club a group of SQL statements together and we will execute as a single shot and we will send all those queries to a database at once and we will execute all those them. So we will see how we can implement the same using a simple JDBC programming. So we need to have a couple of import statements, connection, driver manager, prepare statement, SQL exception. All these are from the java.sql package. We need to have the basic uh, setup. Like We need to have a URL of the database and username and password. URL, if you observe here, right now we are connecting to Postgres database. Hence the URL is JDBC, Postgres, URL, PostGRE, SQL, and the local host name. And 5432 is the port number and database name. So here, the local host indicates that we are connecting to the database which is running in my local machine. Suppose if the database is running in different machine or the other network, you need to mention the IP address or the name of that particular machine. So that it connects to that database, like provided if it is accessible. So declare a connection variable and whenever we are start working on the database you need to make sure that we are enclosing everything in a try catch block as it will end up with a lot of exceptions the very first step is we need to load the driver so class dot for name or g dot post gr sql dot driver so right now we are connecting to database which is postgres database hence we are trying to load a post gr sql database Suppose if you are trying to connect to a different database, you need to make sure that you are using the respective driver class name. Once it is loaded successfully, so we are printing a message that it's connecting to database. Here it is trying to establish an actual connection. Connection equal to driver manage dot kit connection. It is taking three input values. URL of the database and the username and password that we have already declared at the top using string variables. So once it takes all this information, it it tries to establish a connection if it's successful and it's going to give us a connection object into this variable. Suppose if this fails, this call fails by chance, then it's going to switch back to the catch block with the appropriate exception. So after generating, getting a connection, so we are printing a message that connected to database successfully. So one important point that needs to be done is we need to disable the commit. So usually in the most of the databases auto commit will be true means what exactly auto commit means as and when you perform some operation it by default it saves those values so here we wanted to have a control of the choice that's where we are uh, turning up the default setting at the database level connection dot set auto commit false so we are asking database not to automatically commit it should be committed based on the demand like as and when we are done with then the next step is we are pairing SQL query. So in this example, what we are trying to do, we are trying to uh, save a couple of records into student table. So as the SQL query is insert into a table name, and these are the couple of fields, student number, name, age, and the course, and the values, and all these question marks are placeholders. So the values for all these four parameters. This is a, the, um, the query that inserts the data. When this query is prepared, so we need to have create a prepare statement object. Prepare statement equal to connection dot prepare statement with the query SQL what we have defined it here. So what exactly this does is this is going to pre-compile the query because it's a prepare statement. Advantage with the pre-compilation is let's say here we are inserting uh, thousand records. It will not create thousand times the statement object because the query is prepared once and it's pre compile it will not compile again and again so that's the advantage and it will save a lot of time when you actually work with it the huge number of record sets so whereas if you use a statement object instead of prepare statement so it is going to compile thousand times which we don't want to get into that situation because we don't want to add a performance issues when we execute the uh, this kind of a huge operations as part of batches or anything so let's create a for for loop for int i equal to one i less than or equal to three i plus plus so here i am trying to insert a three records hence uh, my loop condition is three 
So for each and every record, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to set a, some default values. Prepare dot set statement, set int for, this is the first is the indicates the um, first parameter index. Then I'm supplying i. So I'm trying to save for the student number, I'm trying to set the i. So that means it is, as and when we complete this address, it is going to say one, two, three. The same way such thing. So for the name, I'm setting the value. For the second parameter, user underscore plus i means it will i'm setting the default the name as user underscore one user underscore two user underscore three etc i'm setting the age third value is three and i into ten so i'm just multiplying with the basic operation i into ten to set the calculate the age and the last one is the course set string the fourth index and the, the type of the course i'm giving here once we set the value so prepare statement object is ready right so we need to add it to a batch prepare statement dot batch is going to add batch is going to add the query what you have prepared with the setup value is going to add it to the batch once we are done with all this uh, execution of the for loop that's where like you need to execute the back after completing this for loop your batch is loaded with all the queries that what we have executing prepared here right so int array result equal to prepare statement dot execute batch so this is the statement. This is going to execute all the queries that you have added to a batch. It can right now in this example, we are we are visualizing only three queries, but it can be like any number of queries. So all those queries will be executed at a shot as in when they execute a, um, this particular statement. Once the statement executes successfully, so we are saying connection dot commit. The reason is we have turned up the commit, right? So hence it is our responsibility to make sure that we are committing this Otherwise, if you are not doing this, it will not execute. It will not save the data into database. It will execute the code, but you will not see the results in a database. So this step is mandatory when you are doing, well, basically we are trying to do a transactions on, on our role. Like we are turning off and based on the need and we are trying to commit the transaction. Once everything is done, we are simply printing message batch process successfully. And we need to make sure that close with the prepare statement that you have created out of it. And this is a catch block. Like right now, I have clubbed into two possible exceptions: SQL exception and the class not found exception. And this is going to uh, thrown whenever there is a class dot for name, and this is going to throw for the remaining operations. In the, both the cases, I'm just printing a message on the console. The print structures I'm printing it. So just to see like, what is the kind of issue that has occurred. Once everything is done, so we are going back to the final lib block, and which will execute for irrespective of like whether you have part of the tribe block or catch block. Within this, we need to make sure to release all other resources if there anything is pending. So we are checking if the connection is not equal to null, make sure to close the connection and print a message. So if you observe here, to close the connection object itself, like we are using it once again a tree catch block. The reason is this itself is going to throw an SQL exception. So this is how it is. The implementation is let's run the program. So connected to database, connected to database successfully, and batch successfully, connection closed. That means this task is done. So let's go back to database and refresh. This is that user one, user two, user three. So those are the three values in such Let's update the code and see how it is. I'll say from four to six. Okay, just if I try to run the same program, it will end up with issues. Let me show you before changing the code. Let's run it without making any changes. See the error. So student number one already exists. So because it's trying to save the same data and in my table definition, the student number one is a primary key student number. So hence it is not allowing. We need to make some changes. So for that I'm making a change. So pro to six, I would like to insert this time. I'll change the code. Here the console. Let's run it again. 
this time we haven't seen any error let's switch back to database and refresh it see 456 with the, the respect to values so this is how we will work with the jdbc batch feature please like the video and share it with your friends so in case if you are looking for any specific program please do let me know in the comment section below i'll try to make the video as early as possible thank you very much